Hi there, my name is Doster, and today I'd like to talk about intangible assets. Do you know what intangible assets are? You know what physical assets are, right? You know what financial assets are. When you put more money into it, it grows and it starts to pay a dividend and it becomes better and better the more it grows and the more time it has to flourish, right? But do you know what an intangible asset is? And the best way I can think to describe this, to introduce this idea to you, is to look at this question, what do you have? If you answer this question, what do you have? We can answer it in many different ways. We can begin with the objects in your life, right? The physical things, a table, a chair, a desk, a lamp, a book shelf, some books, a TV, a computer, a phone, a car. These are sort of physical things that you have. But then there's also the things about you, right? You have your name, you have your body, you have the things that you do, you have your thoughts, you have your aspirations, you have your feelings, right? And that's maybe getting a little bit deeper. But then if we look at this question a little bit further and we say, do you have your life? Then it gets into something else. Do you have experience? Are you having this experience of hearing these words right now? Do you have the breath of air that goes into your lungs as your chest rises and falls with your breathing? And if we take this further, then you start to see there are certain people that you meet in this world that have something that you're not quite sure what it is that they have. And we often talk about these people by saying, wow, what a life you have. And it could be that, well, actually, what you're really judging is a bunch of things that they only appear to have, and yet they are not really so aware of having. Right? So often what we see in others is actually just a reflection of our own values. And if you ask yourself really about someone you admire, what do they have? What is it that you see in them? It's not going to be the surface stuff, right? It's going to be higher values. It's going to be like, wow, they just have a way of living life. They just have a way of coming up with just the right thing to say at the right time. They just have this way of walking. It's this something about them. Now, here's where intangible assets come in, because intangible assets are the things that actually give you those things that you can't quite put your finger on. You can't quite explain it. It's just beyond reach, but it's there. It's real. You know exactly that it is something. So, intangible assets goes into philosophy, goes into your philosophical outlook, it goes into your psychology, and it goes into your spiritual intu intuitions, we could say, or your religious intuition, however you want to put it. It's something that's just beyond reach. And at the moment, I've just launched a new course that is entirely dedicated to intangible assets. We go through 50 intangible assets. So let me tell you a little bit about some of them. Simplicity in chaos. Do you know what it means to be simple in the face of chaos? Chaos is not a problem that needs an antidote. It's not a problem that needs to be solved. Chaos is actually the juice and the spice of life, which is contrary to popular belief right now. Flow despite a cluster. Do you know what the flow state is? You know what peak performance is? You know what creative flow is? 
And you know what cluster is, what it means to come up against a roadblock, against red tape, against the difficulty, against a failure. Dispelling misunderstanding. How many times have you been misunderstood? How many times have you tried to communicate something and it hasn't quite got across the way you wanted it to? Knowing the source of motivation. Now, so much positive psychology and psychology in general, general is based on Abraham Maslow's theory of motivation, right? And it's actually a very powerful way of looking at what you are. Why is it that you do what you do? Passion as non-doing. When we talk about passion, we often think about the fire of getting stuff done. The fire of making an impression on the world. Making a difference. Doing lots of stuff. Big action. Productivity. But actually, passion as non-doing is a completely different way of experiencing passion and experiencing reality at large. It's possible for the most passionate and intense thing for you to do is to sit down on a cushion, close your eyes and do nothing. That is passion as non-doing. That's a big one. That's a really deep, intangible asset. Multidirectionality. There's a lot of talk about forward momentum, right? Fail forward, move forward, progress. Do you know about progress? Have you heard of this little thing called progress? <laughs> well, let me tell you, the way forwards is sideways. And, in, and multi-directionality is a very important intangible asset across many levels of life and understanding. Centering. Do you know what it means to center your mind, your body, your emotions? Glow. Do you know what radiance is? Do you know what it means to have a twinkle in your eye? <laughs> innocence. Do you know the difference between ignorance and innocence? Do you know what it means to have new found innocence? feel like you've been born again, that's an intangible asset that you can actually develop and incrementally increase. Networks. Now, of course, you want to improve your, your social network, your business network. So much of what we work with today seems to be inside a network. But actually, there are more implications to network theory than just social networking. Finality. Do you know that endings have their own mechanisms, their own flavors, their own ways of being approached, their own understandings, their own insights? Do you know there's a way to live through the ending of something in a mature and conscious way? The end of a relationship, the end of a job, the end of living in a certain town or city. The end of a chapter in life. That's finality. And lastly, as an example, I've got this thing, this word, this little idea, which is everything. Can you grapple with everything? When I say the word everything, what does that include for you? And let me tell you, when you understand intangible assets, you can have everything. Follow the link in the description of this video and enroll in my course, Intangible Assets. You can watch the preview video, otherwise enroll today.